Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we are once again working in our safari zoo. We are working on the last um, habitat in our safari adventure ride. Um, so we are putting in the gem spot. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, please feel free to correct me. <laughs> Um, so this is just a quick little habitat. Um, I didn't realize when I had been planning to put them in that they were strictly a desert animal. I did think initially they were also in the grasslands. Um, but I had the space, so I wasn't just gonna exclude them. So it's a little, just a little chunk of desert <laughs> in the grasslands, it's fine. Um, a little better planning, I probably would have put the cheetahs in between or next to the gems box, so we would have transitioned a little bit more smoothly from the savanna to the desert, um, because the cheetahs have desert as a secondary biome, so I could have utilized some of the same plants and mixed it in a little better, but that's okay. Like I said, hindsight is always 2020, <laughs> so it was fine. Um, it still it came out looking fine, um, and it was it gets realistically a very small area, so um, it was just interesting because I have chosen to only do grassland animals um like i haven't done any of the jungle animals that are also found in africa i considered it at one point but going through all of the animals and narrowing it down just all of the tropical ones um it's just it was you get so bogged down in the number of animals and i was like i don't like that ride is just gonna be way too long so I might do like an African jungle themed zoo at some point. I think that would be cool. I'm not sure. Um, you know, they do make the boat ride. So that could be cool to do something with the jungle with the boat ride, like going down the river. Um, I was kind of thinking I wanted to do that with like the South American type of rainforest, tropical animals. So I'm not sure if I'll do another ride one. I also thought it would be really, really cool to do like the gondola ride, but I'm really gonna have to look at the gondola ride first to see, but for some reason in my head, I just have like this gondola ride like up or down the side of the mountain or both and like seeing different animals that would live in like the temperate type of biome and like the mountains like the Himalayan brown bear or the snow leopard like I think that would be really cool as well so I don't know I might I might see like I said before I have like a thousand different ideas for <laughs> what I want a zoo to be around or part of a zoo and that's the other thing too is I don't know how big some of my ideas are and how small they are so it's it's hard to judge if it's gonna be part of a zoo or a whole zoo or what but this was just a very quick habitat as most of the past few ones have been like once I got the hang of a very generic habitat they go really quickly um so I'm hoping I can start getting a little bit more creative with my habitats coming up. I'm hoping I can start experimenting and exploring a bit more with traversable terrain and blocking off exits and possible escape routes and what that looks like for different animals. That's the hard part too. What works for one animal doesn't necessarily work for another. AKA what works for Gemsbok and 
Cheetahs does not work for baby ostriches. Ugh. That's a different story. That's a... <laughs> so yeah, it's... It was very quick, and here I am, just animal management. I hit the play button. This goddamn mixed area. No, so I I do like how this habitat came out. Like I said, I was not initially sure once discovering that they were desert that, but they work, and they're. They're cute. I mean, every single animal in this game is amazing. I love them all so much. <laughs> um, but I'm glad I put them in. And next week we're going to work on like the entrance and decorations and pulling it all together. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys again next week. Have a great day. Bye, guys.